once the woman sees the blood, the fasting is not valid that day, and she makes it up. When does she make it up? This question always comes up. And when we come to Shawwal, the month after Ramadan, the same question is going to come and it's going to say, should I do my six days of Shawwal and then do my uh, Ramadan, uh, the makeup of Ramadan? Should I do my makeup of Ramadan first and then make up Shawwal? This always comes up. When should we do it? There is many opinion. There is not a one single opinion. I put you the hadith of Sayyida Aisha where she used to say, I, sometimes I could not make it up, so I delay my making, excuse me, making up my fasting till Sha'ban. So all the way till be, before the next Ramadan. Should I make my, sha, my uh, Shawwal first and then do my Ramadan? Also different opinion. Scholars will teach you Ramadan making up is an obligation. Shawwal fasting is a voluntary, always obligation came first, so you should make it up. You should make up your, your uh, fasting that you missed in Ramadan, then you fast for Shawwal. Some scholars will tell you, look at the beauty. This is different opinion, it's beautiful. No one is more right than the other. That's a choice. Some scholars will teach us and they say, no, the fasting in Shawwal, the month after Ramadan, is a specific time. It's six days has to be in that month. So if she has to make up, the, let's say a woman, her period is 10 days. So she make up six, ten days, and then she makes up that six days, that sixteen days. That may put some difficulty and burden on the woman. So let her do the six days of Shawwal because this is a specific time, and then she can make it up later. What I tell the woman, if you can, do it both. If you can, with no real hardship on you or your family, do, may, do the makeup first and then do the shawal. If you cannot, then do the shawal, and inshallah, Allah would make it easy for you to do the makeup later on in the day. 